Okay, Coach, so two big conference wins this weekend. Just kind of reflect on what it took to get those. Uh, the last two games, you know, Midwestern was a very physical game, and we had to grind that one out. Um, you know, probably didn't play our best ball game, but a uh, very physical game, and, and we did. We, we grinded that game out, got a win there, and then we came out and we really played well against uh, Cameron in that first half. I thought we were, I mean, just everything that we did, is shot the ball well, great defense, and kind of really set the tone and, and put them away in the first half. So a couple big wins for us uh, this past weekend. And how do you carry that momentum into going on the road against uh, Angelo State and uh, Kingsville. Yeah, Angelo and Kingsville are up next. Angelo on Thursday, Kingsville on Saturday. And um, both of those teams are in the top of the conference. Uh, they're teams that, you know, have very few losses. And, uh, Kingsville's struggling a little bit right now. Uh, they've lost some games, but they've had some players out. And Angelo is, is very good. They're very dangerous. They split this last weekend. But, um, you know, we've got to keep playing basketball. We've got to keep playing it the right way. And we've got to find ways to get better. Uh, we can't just... Uh, relax and think people are just going to roll over for us. We got to keep improving with our young guys and even our veterans as well. You know, you only had five out of Chav and, and nine out of Quaid mm -hmm. in the Cameron game. You come up with a big win. You got to really like the depth you produced this year. Yeah, we got we got some good players um, all the way through, and and those guys have a chance to play against some really good guys last year. You know, EJ and Joseph Prince and um, Skyler and Garrett. Those guys really set the tone and and kind of really helped us out. You know, they've, they've graduated and moved on, but that, that sets you up for the following year. And it's something, the same thing that's gonna happen next year when, when David leaves and Jordan and Ryan, Ryland and, and uh, obviously Tommy. But those guys have put in a lot and they mean a lot to this program going forward next year and the following year and the following year. And it, and it pays dividends. Um, you know, we're, we're very fortunate to have the guys that we have on our, on our roster. And I'm very fortunate to have the guys that I have on my staff, even if they are Packer fans. <laughs> <laughs> Angelo State, a uh, tough place to play. No, you, oh, yeah, it's always tough yeah. to go on the road in this conference. You look at anyone, and, and there's some, there were some big regional games uh, this last weekend. A couple of the top teams lost, and they were on the road. You know, and and uh, so it's any, anytime you get into conference play, teams know each other really well, and they want it so badly that it's it's really tough to go on the road and win in conference. And you know, you look at teams like Texas Tech who did that at Kansas, and you know, how did they do it? Well, they played great defense, they're really well coached, and you know, they made some shots. And it's, it's fun to be able to see a coach like Chris Beard uh, be able to have the success in the Big 12. And he had some really good success here in the, in the Lone Star Conference for a couple years, and um, it, it's great to see him have that success. But that's how you do it. That's the formula. And he had it right and going in and beating up on Kansas. Kind of looking back, you talked about how the players uh, from prior years help pay dividends for the years to come. Mm -hmm. And a player that, that's very obvious for is Jordan Collins. He's talked about how Drew, Ev how, um, not Drew Evans, but how Jordan Evans as well as David Chavik have really been on top of him. And really, as he asks questions, he ha they have answers for him. He's gotten better. So kind of uh, if you could expound on how Jordan Collins has really impacted this team. Yeah, Jordan. You know, Jordan has really had a great impact for us. He's, uh, <clears throat> you know, he struggled a little bit last year. Um, didn't get a ton of minutes, but we had some good seniors ahead of him, and he's really, you know, he, he had a great summer. I think that was a big part of it, coming back in shape and being ready to go. And then, you know, uh, like like you said, having an opportunity to play against Joseph Prince, EJ Golightly, and those guys for a year, and you know, learn what it takes to be able to play in this conference. And then having leaders on the team this year, David Chalvik, Jordan Evans, and Tommy Gove, and Ryland, and those guys, um, you know, he's got great leadership around him, and that's what it takes to, to be a successful team. You have to have guys kind of self-controlling each other because um, a coach isn't going to be with them 24 hours a day. So if you want it bad enough as a team, you know, you pick guys up when they're down and you really encourage them when they're, when they're doing well. And so that's what, I think that's what we have with our team is, is a good mix of players, um, that that enjoy playing for each other and for WT. Um, and then also another question about uh, you guys have won 29 straight home games. I know you're not about the stats about it, but my question is, what is the hardest part of keeping and consistently winning? Um, you know, 
29 is a nice number when, you know, that's half, kind of half of what we had at uh, Coach Gove, myself, Coach Henderson at Winona State, we won 57 in a row. And, you know, that's going on the road and doing it too. 29, that's, that's a nice, that's a good record to have, and we're very proud of it. And we, you know, our guys want to defend that to, to the bitter end. Um, but every game is big, and we're really concentrating right now on those road games because last year we weren't real great on the road. You know, we had some games where, you know, hopefully we, we could have won. We won a few more games on the road last year. Maybe we could have been to the number two seed or the number one seed in the regional. And we were the three seed last year. So guys understand that. And you're going to have some, some games where, you know what, you just don't play well and you lose. And, and that was UTPB down there. We lost that one. Um, but we've got to really have a great focus for these road games as well as our home games. And it's a lot easier playing at home. <clears throat> that goes for everybody. You know, Kingsville, we're going to drive 10 hours. We're going to play Angelo on Thursday. That's going to be a heck of a game. And then have to go play at Kingsville. So it's going to be really tough. And these will be two big games for us.